Hey there gorgeous, hope you're having a fabulous day. I'm partnering with e.l.f. in today's video to share a very thorough review of their new camo powder foundation. I'll show you an up close application with, with it so you can see what it looks like on the skin. I've also included a nine hour wear test with primer and without primer so you can get a good idea of what it looks like at the end of the day. And hopefully you can make an informed decision as to whether or not this is one worth trying for yourself. So I already have an eyeshadow primer applied and the first product that I'm going to use here is an eyeshadow palette and they've released a couple new palettes in their bite size eyeshadow collection. This is one of them and this is called I Love You a Latte All Matte Shades Neutral Palette. Looks promising, but we'll find out. First shade I'm taking from this palette is this one right here. I always like to apply a shade that's very close to my skin tone to act as a smooth surface for the eyeshadow to glide over the top of. This look is going to be more minimalistic in nature today. I'm not adding falsies to this look. <gasps> I know, don't faint. I'm going to take this shade from the palette. Let's add this to the outer half, I'm making this up as I go along, and bring it up into the crease a little bit. So I don't really know where I'm gonna go next with this, but <laughs> this looks really pretty. It has a very smooth texture to it, glides right on, provides a nice wash of color on the eyes, as you can see there. I mean, that looks really great. Going back with that lighter shade that I used in the beginning, I am going to be applying this to the inner half of the lid, and this will add a little bit of brightness to the eyes here. Okay, I like that. Very easy way to use this palette. Very simple. So now that I've got the other eye done, to finish up this look, I am going to take the dark brown from this palette and I'm going to use that as eyeliner. And next product I'm using is their Wow Brow. And this is in the shade Brunette. It's a brow gel. It appears to have little fibers in the formula. I have never used this before. Wow, that's more pigmented than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> okay. Really easy to apply. And it's really doing a nice job of filling in the areas where I don't have any hair which is nice to see. Typically that's where I struggle when it comes to brow gels. Well, I was thinking about adding in a brow pencil, but it looks like I really don't need to. <laughs> that's amazing. And the mascara that I'm using today is ELF's Big Mood, which I've used before in the past. It's one of my most favorite mascaras from ELF and I love it. But what makes this one different is that they came out with new shades. Okay, and I ordered brown, but I got black. Ugh. I was so hyped for that. Oh man, that sucks. That's a bummer. Anyway, they do have a brown shade now that they just came out with and I was hoping I could show you that today, but I got the black one, unfortunately. So we'll go ahead anyway. And so that's what the wand looks like if you've never seen it before. It's really thick and it does add great length, amazing volume. It, like I said, is one of my most favorite mascaras I've used and I love it. I really, I'm gonna go back and order the brown one though because I really, really do want the brown one. On to trying the star of this video, the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation. The shade that I'm using here is Fair 125. You can see that this flips up. It has a sponge underneath and a mirror in the compact. I have not had the best of luck with those sponges. I just haven't, so I'm not going to use that. I think the way that I'm going to apply this is with a traditional powder brush today. Before I do that though, I want to add a primer on this side because I like to test out powder foundations, any foundation really with a primer on one side and then nothing on the other side to get a true feel for how the product wears. So I'm going to take the e.l.f. Cookies and Dreams Putty Primer. This is one I've been very happy with lately. And I'm going to apply that like so. This does a great job, by the way, of blurring out the pores and it does extend the wear time of makeup. So while I show you the up close application with it here, I'll just tell you a little bit about what it says about this powder on the packaging. It says it's a lightweight powder, very finely milled to provide long lasting, buildable coverage for a full coverage, 
semi-matte finish. It's also supposed to help even out the skin tone, correct minor imperfections, and it has a primer infused formula. Well, that's a significant difference and it's not hard to see. There is a definitive blurring that has occurred on the skin and wow, who could talk about full coverage. I mean, you can see from this side to this side what it looks like after the initial application. It's absolutely flawless. And even looking at it really close up in the mirror, I'm gonna zoom in too so you can see what I'm talking about. It doesn't look bad on the skin. Like, can you see up close there? You should be able to, because I'm showing it to you in 4K. <laughs> it looks really amazing. And I'm pretty happy with that initial application of it. And I still have some splotchiness around the nose here that I need to fix. Other side done, same results. I didn't notice any differences having applied it over the top of that putty primer and looks great. I mean, I need a little color in my face now because I look a little white, but <laughs> So far, I'm really, really happy with the application. I'm using a newer lipstick from e.l.f. I forget what this is called, Seriously Satin. And the shade that I'm showing you here is Creme. And a clear tube, did you catch that? That's like, mm, interesting. I've not seen anybody do that before. pretty color. I also picked up the one in Nectar, which is a little bit darker by comparison to the creme shade. And so I'll show you those here swatched side by side in case you might be interested in them because that could be a really nice nude for someone too. So that's the Nectar shade and this is the creme shade that I just applied. And I could see myself combining the two together to create a unique color also. Those are just really beautiful. It goes on really well. It's uh, more of a glossy finish to it, and it's very creamy feeling, so really liking that color, and the whole look for that matter. Final thoughts. On the day that I was testing that entire face out, I wore the makeup for about nine hours, and this is what it looked like up close. You can see on the side where I did not apply the primer, I did have a lot of shine breakthrough, as opposed to the side where I did have the putty primer applied underneath. So that was to be expected, but what I wasn't prepared for was to see that the powder foundation did not move. Everything remained intact, which is a really hard to find quality in a powder, but this one did not rub away. It didn't leave these splotchy spaces on my skin. It looked even, intact. Everything was there at the end of the day, even on the side where it did have a lot more shine breakthrough than what I typically like to see. So I was very encouraged by that. And on the side with the putty primer, same thing. No movement, everything remained intact, no splotchiness, no bare spots on the skin. It looked great. So I was really happy with this camo powder foundation, much more than I thought that it would be. And everything else wore extremely well, by the way. I love the eyeshadow palette. I have been using that eyeshadow palette nonstop since that video because I love those colors and they're matte and they're the perfect amount of color for everyday neutral looks. They're so easy to use. The lipstick was a little creamier than traditional, like say matte lipstick, so it didn't last as long as a matte lipstick would, but that was to be expected. The brow product looked great at the end of the day. The mascara. That held up beautifully. I've never had a problem with that mascara ever, so I was really encouraged to see that nothing has changed there. But yes, great products, impressed with everything I used here, and I hope that you did find this helpful if they have been ones that you have been considering or you've been curious about. If you are interested in them, I'll have them listed and linked for you below in the description box. And let me know your thoughts. If you've had the opportunity to try them out, please feel free to share your opinion as well. Thank you for being here, for taking the time to watch, and I look forward to seeing you again next time.